गुड इवनिंग सर हाउ इज गुड इवनिंग ओके यू गाइस कीप ऑन टाइपिंग योर डिटेल्स टू मार्क योर अटेंडेंस लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर क्लास बट टुडे वी हैव वन टॉपिक दैट्स अबाउट रिपोर्ट राइटिंग and basically there are four types of report writing you know uh, reports on events reporting meeting and speech reporting interviews and surveys and then reporting experiments there are four types of report writing and uh, uh, we can even uh, extend the types of report writing further also basically uh, as per your book as per your uh, curriculum there are four types of report writing will be practicing about so first of all let me introduce or let me define what is report report means uh, the information or the documentation that tells about that tells about the information what uh, the uh, the information about the event incident accident what uh, that was occurred in past so while <clears throat> reporting those uh, thing like uh, those events or those information uh, either you are presented in there or you have got the information from uh, different sources and and a different sources means you know the while getting the information or while getting the reports or, or those information about incident accident events you might have physically presented or you have done other way of observation like a call phone interviews or reference there are different method of getting or collecting the data you have uh, done the different or you have done the various method of uh, getting the information to mention or to document those information so it becomes it becomes your report writing and and uh, since this is your english subject so i uh, we also discuss about the grammar grammar in the sense your tense especially your sentences your sentences will be in past tense most of your sentences will be in the past tense because you are writing report so make sure that you are uh, while writing the report your sentence most of your sentences will be in the past tense especially simple past and past continuous as per your uh, the as per the type of report you are writing about so uh here today class will be talking about uh, i will give you the format okay i uh, just i will tell you the form or format of report writing the content will be discussing uh, about the content through some examples examples uh, to understand that uh, the format of particular report writing but that won't be your um, exact format or the exact question for your exam or for your uh, assignment so well first start with reports on events reports on event it's quite easiest it's the easiest format of easiest form of writing reports especially reports on events are we can found a newspaper and especially the newspaper writing or newspaper or the journalist they report or they uh, mention the news regarding the certain thing like certain uh, events certain uh, incident or accident that is reports on those information and well uh, you know there are uh, while writing the report we can say there are three stages of writing report any particular any type of report writing either uh, event or meeting or speech or interview or survey survey report or even in the report on experiments uh, there are certain we can define there are three stages of report writing first while writing any kind of report first of all you have to ask yourself you have to make the num set of the questions what question you are going to ask and uh, like uh, what information or what uh, sort of information you are going to gather you will ask those questions yourself 
And uh, what is the purpose of this uh, this report writing? Or like uh, whom you are addressing this event? Uh, whom you are addressing this report? See, another type of report writing which I have not mentioned is the academic report writing. Academic report. Your uh, certificate, your mark sheet, your certificate, academic uh, certificate is also one of the type of report. Academic report. That is also one of the type of report. So this is the in each and every type of report writing, there is there is an addresser, addressee, means the report is concerned to some some particular person, and there are certain questions which are addressed or which are answered in that in that any type of report writing. Questions means if I talk about your academic report, your full marks, your mark obtained. And there may be other comments, any comments or suggestion from the teacher. So, and a purpose. The purpose of any type of report writing should be defined. I Means there should be the clear purpose of uh, purpose of writing that event, uh, that report. Maybe <clears throat> to convey the information, or to judge. Maybe uh, if you are writing a report on event, your main purpose will be to provide the information or to convey the information to particular people or the audience or reader. So there will be a certain purpose of writing report. Well, after you found out the relevant questions, uh, after you uh, found out the relevant questions and you found the purpose of uh, report writing, then you move toward the next stage or you will think further that uh, uh, you will uh, conduct or you will gather the relevant in materials or different informations, different materials or information as per your uh, type of report. Means while you are gathering those information, you will also take down the some important notes. You will also write down the some important notes, what will you do first and after that and after that. For example, if you're writing a report on survey, you have to do lots of tasks, physically uh, as well as uh, <clears throat> mentally also. Physically means you may have to visit the site, means the particular place uh, for what you are going to uh, write a report. Or if you're conducting the re reports or conducting the report writing or, uh, or like mar marketing survey, if you are doing the marketing sur survey on the behalf of your company, so you have to visit the different places and gather the information from the different sources. So while you are gathering those information, you will write the note, what uh, what the, uh, what person said, what is the opinion or <clears throat> answer or the information from the different people. You will gather those information, uh, may note down the notes, or you will record those information as per your convenience. And uh, so, uh, you know, the advantages of uh, gathering or <clears throat> those information, noting down those information or in, uh, in, in a notebook or, or uh, through recording or any video visual as per your convenience. So this will help you while you are sitting and preparing that report. So it uh, definitely uh, the main purpose of noting down the important thing is uh, to help you or to uh, to help <coughs> sorry those information will help you while you are writing the report and so that you can recall every information uh, which are required for that report writing. So that that is considered as the second stage. The first stage is you will ask the questions yourself. Again, before writing any report, you will ask the question yourself and then you will make a decision that I'm going to write a report. <clears throat> the purpose of report writing will be this, to provide the information or to judge means to compute what was the uh, market, uh, what was the um, profit or loss of uh, last quarter and uh, what, what is the new purpose or what is, the, uh, what is your company stand? Where do your company stand at this moment? What was the last performance and uh, current performance, and uh, how you can improve the uh, performance of your company or even certain department? So you will 
write that there is a purpose and you will address there uh, whom you are there should be clear picture on uh, whom you are addressing this report that is considered as first step second you will gather the information take down the important notes maybe a note on a notebook or, or uh, on a recording or videos uh, depends on the available materials you require that comes in the second stage after that comes the third stage or we can say the final stage now <clears throat> you have all informations you have gathered the information and you have a certain purpose of writing reports so you will make the outline of the report now you will start doing the outline of the report means you will make a uh, uh, outline means you will make a uh, uh, let's say <clears throat> it's a dummy type or you will gather those information write down those information and make make an outline and this helps to write your report in easier and more efficient and also it, it also enables you attend to one of the parts of the report at time so since you have all information that will help you to uh, gather the information easily and make your report more relevant or easy for you you know most report contains the main parts like introductions while you are writing the reports and you have to mention the uh, the uh, different contents like introductions the body and the conclusion in introduction introduction of your report you will mention that the subject and purpose of report what is the subject and purpose of report in introduction part <clears throat> And in that introduction, you may also give the background information, like background information such as prefix, like uh, uh, like uh, executive summary. You can write about the summary in introduction part. You can mention the summary of this report writing, if necessary. But if necessary, in the sense, if you are writing the survey report, especially the reports on surveys are very long because. In order to gather those information, <clears throat> you may have to visit the site, may have to take the interviews, or you may have to read the different sources, may have to read the different books, different uh, different references, whichever newspaper or whichever available, so that <clears throat> on reports and survey, it will be very long. So uh, <clears throat> you may have to write the outline you may have to write the background about that means if you are conducting or if you are doing that report writing uh, on the behalf of your company and your company uh, the uh, your the company boss or certain some people means the same so, uh, you are writing this report and uh, you have been assigned that task you have been assigned that task by your company so uh, you will write you may require to mention the approval note also Approval note means the board of directors or some uh, people in the higher position will assign, will send you a letter or formal letter or formal um, <clears throat> information that you are conducting this report uh, based on those informations and uh, if these are the sources you will use while conducting that report. You will get that uh, formal appointment from the board of director or represented from your company so you may mention that in your report also that is also called background information uh, which is the part of interaction <clears throat> so that will discuss that we will discuss in further and a second and uh, after that after interaction you will mention the uh, body of report okay let me tell you one more thing in interaction part you want write about your report in details what did you find finding and observation you will not mention in the introduction introduction in introduction you just give the uh, subject you will say the, you will define or you will define the uh, uh, that report will be discussed later on <clears throat> so second part of uh, any type of report writing is body of report in the body of report you will mention the all information all the information you have gathered like the interviews you have taken the the references books newspaper or other means of communications like you have watched that news um, that news on television or read that information <clears throat> through newspaper 
or any other reliable source you will mention there and you will refer of course definitely you have to uh, you have to mention the uh, source of reference and your observation finding you will mention in the body of body of your report writing then after that uh, <clears throat> if required you will mention also the fee like uh, figures tables graphs if necessary you will also draw and uh, you will try to explain the uh, information uh, uh, through those uh, tools if you are comparing your report comparing the reports uh, the compar comparing the outcomes of what was the uh, profit and what was the information in the last quarter or last week or last month if you are absorbing those or you are comparing the this information with the past reference you may have to draw the table uh, graphs chart whichever are necessary that will be the part of your uh, report on body so after that you will uh, come to the uh, final stage of your report writing that that is called conclusion and in the in conclusion you will summarize the information you have mentioned above and what is the main purpose of your report writing and your observation what did you find and if and, and, uh, and in further sentences, you will mention your suggestion or recommendation. And your, again, your conclusion would not keep, will not provide the new information. In every conclusion or summing up, there, that, that won't provide the new information, but summarize what you have already told. So your <clears throat> conclusion will not be more than four or five sentences. Because if you Keep the more suggestion or recommendation or more um, <clears throat> longer conclusion there may be a chance that you are providing again new information in conclusion you would not provide the new information but you uh, conclude <clears throat> or you sum up with the information you have already provided but if your report writing uh, is based on survey and uh, it is very long uh, in that case um, your recommendation and suggestion may be least, may be in least. <clears throat> okay, uh, we talked about the three stages of report writing. What you do, how do you prepare for any type of report writing? First, start with the reports on in <clears throat> on events. This is the easiest report writing, uh, uh, which are which are basically newspaper based reports or newspaper based information. Yeah. If you have uh, a newspaper, any newspaper article, and you can see there most of the journalists, okay, journalists, whatever the information they provide is reports on event. They have writing about an event, any uh, any event means any event that was conducted, uh, any incident any accident now what the prime minister said what the finance minister said what what happened in the different parts of delhi what happened in the different parts of india they just mention that information the purpose of reports on event is just to provide the information and of course while providing the information you have to mention that not missing any information Okay, I need to show you some examples of some examples of reports on events, and this is the one of the easiest way of report writing. I will show you. Okay, examples of example of a report. So this is one of the example of reports on report on events where. The purpose of the purpose of report writing is just to provide the information uh, what uh, accident had occurred. This is a report uh, copied from Times of India of 30 June 1987. See, uh, the purpose is just to provide the information to the people, to the audience, whoever will read this, uh, a major fire broke out in. Ansul Bhavan, a multi story building in <coughs> Kasturba Gandhi Mark in New Delhi on the morning of 29th June. See, this report, this uh, 
accident occurred on 29th June and that is uh, reported on 30th, 30th June. Since this is a newspaper report writing, newspaper report writing, so it won't print on the same day because whatever accident or incident or events uh, occurred today, that will be uh, printed or that will be available tomorrow. A newspaper. So clearly, this is all about what happened in there. So most of the sentences, see, most of the sentences are in past tense. A major file broke. Broke. The fire was noticed. Past tense. You okay, see, in re reports on events, your sentences will be in the past tense. Uh, you have that's the thing you have to consider. So the question will be for your exam. The question will be: if okay, your organization is uh, going to see uh, here again. Uh, question number uh, exercise number five. See, so we can take this as an example. Write a brief report on the Independence Day celebration in your city. Okay. You have to write a report based on the Independence Day celebration in your city. So, how the people celebrated it? Yesterday was Independence Day, and it, this, it was 75th of whichever is the uh, Independence Day, I, I exactly don't recall right now. So the how did you how the people celebrated that? Who was the main guest? If any any program was conducted in there, you can imagine. You have to imagine the uh, this one, and on the base on that you have to write. Or another example is uh, your company is uh, celebrating or absorbing the annual your company foundation day let's say it's a your company anniversary day today let's say 26th of april is your company anniversary date uh, anniversary day so uh, it's conducting uh, there uh, it's uh, celebrating you are celebrating your company anniversary day and I write a report, brief report about it so how do you write about that so today you will mention in your report writing you write about your company, okay, the, your ABC company. Uh, it has successfully completed the five years and uh, uh, successfully completed the glorious five years and uh, and uh, and it's on the occasion of that the company has conducted uh, annual celebration uh, celebration among and of which called. It has called or it has invited all the stakeholders. A stakeholders means stakeholders means all the people which are associated with the with the company. Shareholder, customers, the representative, the board of directors, uh, colleague means staffs, employee. All were presented. All were invited in that. It was conducted on. Then Cute Hall, whichever, wherever it was happening, or it was the the program was conducted on companies, on on companies conference hall, which is situ situated on the basement of the building. This is how you can write your report writing about your company celebration. How did your company celebrate its anniversary day? <clears throat> and further on. You will explain who was the main <coughs> chief guest, if necessary, or it just the CEO. The CEO of the company has said that uh, they ha they have done. He CEO of the company has thanked thanked T H N K D thank to all the employees for their <coughs> brilliant performance or their continuous support for the company, and especially uh, uh, the he pride uh, he pride. With the company's employee because they worked very successfully. They worked very uh, successfully during the uh, the COVID situation. Then it was uh, difficult for the company to provide the um, service, provide the service to the customer. But the employee played played the great role for the company's success during that period. 
and he has also announced that he uh, the company he has also announced that the company is going to give 5% increment in the salary to all the employees or he he has also announced that uh, the bonus of certain amount 50000 each employee and the occasion of the, uh, the company anniversary date after that there was a celebration and a people were having the meal uh, provided by the company and this is how you can write about the company uh, so how that company celebrated the uh, anniversary day so a main motive of telling that imagine uh, that telling that story is is you have to write your report in past tense in all your sentences will be in past tense and you will write uh, in that way and the main purpose is just to provide the information and uh, uh, in reports on events won't have that kind of uh, information like introduction body and a conclusion or something like that you just explain what happened in there who were presented there the, who were the audience uh, that information you will just provide there won't be any confusion or something like that you don't have to mention the conclusion or other information on reports on events okay again i repeat and um, reports an event, your purpose is just to provide the information to the certain people, whoever is concerned this information. Means if you're writing the reports on accident, okay, you are reporting an accident and accident, you will mention the, the type of accident, what happened. There was a road accident yesterday and to two healers who were over speed, who were over speed and the, the, the driver and the, the person who is sitting on the back we died on the spot and uh, uh, when they they died on this died in it on the spot and a police has the Delhi police has conducted the uh, reports that they were died on the spot and uh, uh, further further the dead body was sent to the hospital for postmortem this is how you write the reports and see what time the accident occurred and uh, uh, and if you have any picture, you you may have mentioned that. So this is the uh, format of report writing. In reports on event, you just provide the information and to whom the, that particular report is concerned. You will not blame anyone. Blame in the sense the the road due to the uh, <clears throat> that particular road constructions or the. Uh, things you will not mention so due to the over speed or if you have any information that provided by the Delhi police uh, based on the uh, CCTV they have installed in that particular if you have you can see you can mention that the uh, it was found that later on Delhi police has said uh, through the uh, reference from CCTV uh, installed in that area found that the, the that was the vehicle were, was over speed which is why the incident accident occurred you can mention in that if that is necessary or that is available you can imagine so all thing is you just provide the informations uh, to the audience about that event or incident or accident and let's move uh, reports on event is not important examination point of view so next Let's go to reports on a meeting and a speech. So this is important examination point of view. Even you have got this question in your assignment. And uh, especially for your exam uh, plus your uh, assignment, uh, there are two important questions from report writing. Reports on meeting and a speech, report on interviews. These are the important questions out of different types of report writing and of course reports and survey survey reports are also important but the, due to the lengthy process of survey report this type of question won't come in your exam it comes if you get the question about the reports and survey you will get the hint hence you should get the information on on what basis you are writing reports and what would be your sources of that report writing and what would be the criteria you will get that hint but uh, 
the important question from for your examination point of view. Reports on meeting and speech and report and interviews are the important one. So let's go move towards the format of uh, reports on meeting and speech. So reports on meeting and speech. Since you are reporting the meeting, <clears throat> you will mention okay, uh, important things. While you are writing the reports, reporting a meeting, you have to, you have, <clears throat> you should keep the precise information. You have to give the uh, clear, short and clear, precise, short and clear information about the following, like name of the organization, for what organization, like your college, your university, or your company, your organization, name of the organization you have to mention, venue, the place, and the time of the meeting, and the agenda or the program. What, what were the agenda of, of that meeting? You have those information uh, and a brief history of the organization. While you're writing the report on meeting, you have you have to mention about uh, the uh, history of that organization uh, shortly. Okay. So uh, reports on a reporting or meeting or reporting a speech are slightly different. In a report and a meeting, okay, while you are reporting a meeting, in that meeting, either you can be a participant, either you you are a participant of that meeting or you are just writing a report as a minute or minute minute means uh, minute writing means this is a documentation process of writing that meeting what agendas were discussed and uh, what was the conclusion of that meeting you will those information in documented format means in a written text that is called minute in in Every organization, in every organization, uh, when they conduct any type of meeting, once the meeting is conducted, or the first uh, one of the persons or one of the participate, uh, one of the participate, or the coordinator of the meet, meeting will write the important thing or agenda that will discuss and the conclusion what were the uh, thing they were discussing there and what they are going to implement, what they are going to do in future, those information will be uh, written in certain format that is called minute writing. So that is a different thing, but that we are not going to talk about minute writing, but we are talk just talking about reporting and meeting. So you are one of the participants, or you are the one of the uh, presentee of the meeting, so you are going to write report. So you should have those informations, on the behalf of what organization you are doing, time, and agenda, what were the main agenda of the meeting, and a history about that organization. So you, once you have those information, and you will start writing a report on, on meeting. So this is the format of uh, one minute. Okay. okay, I repeat, while you're writing a report on a meeting, either you be, uh, either you are a uh, participant, you are participating uh, on that meeting, or you are just 
observing or you are just uh, gathering the information of that and are writing about that. Or whereas while you are reporting a speech, the speaker will be there. The speaker may be uh, any renowned person, maybe celebrity or a political person, any political figure. That person will give the speech and you will write down the important points, what the person has said in that speech, in that seminar, in that conference, in that program. So you will write the report on the basis of that. The difference is, what I'm trying to tell you is that the, diff the difference is reporting a meeting and a reporting a speech is in meeting, while you are reporting the meeting, you may have to mention the opinions or the agendas or the important points uh, said by the participant from the different people who were attending, who attended that meeting. But in the report and speech, you will just focus on one person and mention what the person has said. What were the important points uh, said by that person? That is the only difference. So this is one of the example. See, you can see, uh, again, it's a report on newspaper. Uh, that is mentioned on a newspaper because this is a report on a speech. So this is the date that the, the president, the president has addressed that meeting and he has uh, talking about the, he was the speaker president was the speaker and he has uh, the mayor he delivered the president delivered his speech regarding the regarding the certain topic what was the uh, thing he said that that is mentioned in here other agendas or uh, things that was actually discussed what were the main points or important things he had said on that in his speech and on the base on that speech, this, this report is written. So in your exam, you will get a question like, Question number four. On question number four, you are the secretary of the Strengths Union. Strengths Union in your college, write a report to of 250 words of a meeting held to discuss the forthcoming annual cultural program. See, this is the report. You have to write a report on the base on a meeting that was held to discuss about the further cultural program. And you are the secretary, you know, you are secretary or coordinator of that. And now you have to assume that you are secretary of Eastern Union and the further program, further program is going to conduct. And how do you prepare for that? In this meeting, you will mention that as a, as a secretary of the Eastern Unions, the meeting was conducted on, let's say, annual cultural program is going to conduct on 30th of April. So today we are here in the meeting, let's say. Today, right now, we are in the meeting and uh, uh, I'm the secretary of the Eastern Union. And how, do you, how would I write this report? How do I? So today we are conducting this meeting, we are conducting this meeting to discuss how we are going to conduct annual cultural program that will discuss on, uh, sorry, sorry, that will uh, be held on 30th April, 2022. You will start writing, so in this meeting, we, uh, the meeting which was conducted on Eastern Union's hall in our college. And we, in this meeting, the uh, president, the president of Eastern Unions, he has mentioned some agendas, important things, uh, important tasks that we can assign to the different persons. He has highlighted or he has mentioned the different tasks that we can 
assigned to different persons so that we can conduct that program easily and more conveniently. <clears throat> so this person, okay, this strand, the strand means name of the strand will conducting. We have decided or we have decided the <clears throat> strand from uh, BCA first semester will have this, uh, they will have this program or they will uh, decorate the strays. Uh, the strand from BCA second semester, they will have a welcome speech. Strand at the same time, they will also uh, they will also have perform a like a, a drama, street drama, or they will perform a drama on the base on that particular topic, on the base on the current situation, how to avoid or how to precaution from COVID nineteen. Or a second second year student means a second semester student. They will also perform a dance, which is again based on our culture. They will perform a dance. Okay. So and furthermore, the chief guest will be who is the chief guest? Education minister will be the chief guest, and the student from BCA's third semester will welcome him. Okay, will welcome him. And uh, they they will direct the chief guest for the stage where he will be sitting. Okay, third is means the representative from the strand from this name of the strand. If mentioned in there, you can mention the, the name of the strand and uh, who will direct the, the he will help they will help the chief guest for the stage. This is how you mention uh, you will give you will assign the tasks to the different person that meeting was actually conducted for, for that purpose the meeting was conducted so since this is an annual cultural program and of, of course you will do the different cultural uh, performance like dance singing or drama whichever uh, you are going to plan and after that uh, you also mentioned that when the what would be the speech speech time also welcome speech or the speech from the education minister or the campus chief whichever you will mention you will write those information in that uh, meeting and your question you are, while you are uh, answering this question you have to imagine the situation that you are secretary and uh, you have to mention that the meeting was conducted on, uh, on, on 25th april 2020 22 about the forthcoming or upcoming annual culture program of 30th April. So in this meeting, we have decided, we have assigned the different tasks to the uh, students from the different semesters. The student from first semester will student, the, the students, name of the student, will <coughs> decorate the stage. The student from first semester will decorate, will help to decorate the stage and the, 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 the there will be the number of volunteers and the, around we have decided to have to, to keep uh, around 25 volunteers and they will helping uh, the volunteers will help to keep the maintenance peace and provide the water facilities and other things to the guest they will uh, stand in the different places like the volunteers will stand at the two four volunteers will stand uh, at front after that they will uh, some volunteers will be standing in the middle of that stage means the stage will be there and uh, the volunteers will be uh, they will uh, standing or they will in the standby position in the different places and uh, at the same time we have also in this meeting uh, we have also called for fire service and other uh, we have also called the fire service city fire service or like if anything happens uh, we have informed that to the college administration to provide those facility. Okay, you have to, of course, you have to inform to the college, uh, college administration regarding to that. And we are waiting to get the confirmation or getting the uh, reply from them. So this is what you have to mention in your report based on the meeting, what you are actually discussing in there.
and that was the reports on the meeting and uh, this one is reports on a speech Re reporting the speech and reporting a speech that would be easier because you don't have to uh, mention what the person has said or something like in different but you you just focus on a single person who was the speaker what he said what were the agendas were discussed what were the agendas of the issues the person has discussed and what was the association or conclusion and what was the announcement by that person since this is the report uh, uh, this is the reports or speaker was the president of course he will talk about the different uh, important thing and he will address the different topic and uh, announce some new information or the question may be for exam the question may be about same question if i talk about Okay, you are the president of Eastern Union. I'm just imagining the another question. You are the president of Eastern Union. Okay, you are the president of Eastern Unions, and you write a report and two two fifty words of the speech you have delivered in annual cultural program. Okay. You are the president of Eastern Unions and uh, uh, write reports about the, the, the speech that you have delivered on culture, annual cultural program. Now you have to mention what did you say there. there. If you are writing a report on the, based on that speech. What did you say there? The, the, this program, this culture program was conducted on 1st May of 2022. Uh, which was held on uh, our college's ground and uh, we had a chief guest, education minister was the chief guest and other uh, guests were the secretary from education ministry, the secretary uh, means the other secretary from education ministry and in this program we got a speech from chief guest and from our camp chief and i got i also got an opportunity to deliver my speech on the behalf of the students and i have presented the, some important points that i have presented the uh, recommendation or the some uh, agenda to our camp chief and plus uh, education ministry what were the points you were uh, presented or what were the uh, like uh, let's say in a demand means what what were the important points you discuss you told in that meeting what were your agenda since uh, <clears throat> so anything that you were presented or that you had requested in front of uh, education minister education minister that they what were the facilities uh, provided in this college and uh, what you expect from the education minister like the like uh, such as uh, the fee you have an issue your eastern union is raising the concern about the fee college fee that the education ministry can address on that okay i have uh, i have presented some important agenda on that space that they since uh, we are Eastern and uh, we are uh, the main college is mainly uh, is a government is the government college and the fee structure is very high and uh, we have uh, we have requested the education minister that we if we can get uh, some discount or uh, uh, or some revision on the annual fee and furthermore we uh, I have also requested to uh, education minister to uh, provide us on educational tour excursion that uh, excursion or educational tour that can help to the students to um, for the external knowledge like uh, the uh, requested to perform a the site visit like the visit to the different industrial area the student from the different departments so that they can enhance the, so that they can enhance their knowledge and uh, i have also <clears throat> Mention that uh, if uh, mention that uh, about the budget regarding to our library, we are uh, yes we have a library in our college, but they, we do not have the sufficient uh, books or the <clears throat> bibliography 
in this library and I have requested for uh, the additional books from the different uh, genre so that the student can enjoy it so that they can uh, the student they do not have to purchase the book in themselves because especially the books are uh, very costly and uh, they, uh, all the student cannot afford that I have presented that so these things you can mention and you can write in a speech what did you tell in that speech and what was your agenda discuss and uh, since this is a cultural program and uh, it's uh, important for the strength to uh, strengths are the future of the country and uh, they uh, they have to we have to preserve our culture now you have to talk about what is culture and what is the importance of culture program you have to mention you have to write in a speech so you presented your agenda in this speech. You have to write your agendas that you were discussed, that you were told in that speech. And you also told about importance of that particular thing, like culture, what is importance of culture, importance of culture such program, how this program help to the strengths, the strengths like future of the, the citizen of the future the country, I mean to say that the city, the, they are the pillar of the country, how the student can keep the culture or preserve the culture. So these things you have to mention in your speech if you get that type of question. Again, reports and meeting. Uh, you may have to write the important agenda discussed by the different persons in that meeting but in a speech you just have to mention what the person has said the speaker has said in the meeting that will be the uh, reports on meeting and a speech okay you can go through the book to practice about that but you get the same information so since you are writing the report or that you are referring to someone else like the president or secretary or the, any other person education minister whoever has told those information you have to mention that person uh, like the president the president or the uh, secretary or the uh, education minister or the home minister or the campus chief you have to refer when the person is saying something Now, a very important topic about reports and interview and a surveys that we are going to talk about reporting interviews. And the reporting a <clears throat> interview will be slightly different than any other type of report writing. Okay. Reporting interviews. So, uh, since you are uh, reporting the interview and uh, you have to consider some important point while you when you are conducting an interview now you have to assume now you have to assume like you are a journalist and you are going to take an actual interview so here also some here are the, some stages that you have to consider you have to be you have to consider while you are writing a report on an interview and while you are taking an interview so now again i repeat uh, when you are writing a report on an interview you have to um, assume that you are you are a journalist and in that report you must have to present the questions and answer that you were, that you have asked to that person person since for your examination point of view you will be writing the imagine question you will imagine you will imagine the question and you you will answer up the answer of that question so next to that you are not asking the very difficult questions so that you cannot answer that ask the simple question and write the answer of that question in simple way so the while you're writing this the, the report on interview next to that you are you have asked you have presented at least three questions and three answers and the question will not be how are you hello how are you hope you are doing well such types of question are not considered as the um, part of your report 
Okay. Uh, you know, let me tell you about what are the different stages in conducting an interview. What is the procedure of taking an interview? So after you identify the person, okay, first, once you have decided whom you are going to invite for the interview, you have to get in touch with him and fix an appointment. Of course, first you have decided and it's, uh, you have decided either you are calling for uh, interview for a cel film celebrity, Bollywood celebrity or political person or, uh, or social worker or, or any influencer like, like motivator spe motivating speaker whom you are calling, whom you are calling. Once you have decided, you have to keep in touch with that person for the uh, appointment. For what date that person can come for the interview, and the key successful, the key to successful interview is a good presentation. Of course, you know, a presentation matters. So find out in advance the relevant biographical facts, the okay, biographical biographical facts about the person. So you should know about the person, personal background. So th that would help you uh, make the, some base question on them. So if you know about that person, biographical like bi background knowledge, if the person is from Maharashtra or from Goa, from UP or Bihar, wherever the person is from, if you know about that uh, the person background, social background, cultural background, it will help you to understand or make the uh, the possible question. Now, once you have done that, you should write down the lots of questions to ask during the interview. And this question provide a framework for the interview, but they need not to be asked in a visit sequence. Okay, so you may have to write the lots of questions in the interview, but you will not ask the, all the questions. But of course, uh, depending on the situation, you will ask some important questions. So uh, sometimes it is more effective to bring them in casually as the conversation flows. So uh, since you are writing the questions in the visit sequence, re visit means very professional way, but uh, sometimes you may be asking some casual questions. It depends on the conversation flow. If the interviewer is more uh, flexible or like, uh, uh, like we can say, uh, if you find that person is very comfortable to ask the question, or you can ask some casual question also. So since this is a uh, human interaction, no questionnaire exercise. So change your questions or discard some of them in the situation we can. As I said, it depends on the situation. If the person is more uh, friendly, amiable, you may have you may ask the, some casual questions. Or if the person is very uh, rigid, professional, and uh, you may have to change the question. It depends on the situation. And uh, beside that, you can convince the interview that you are interested in him and in the subject you are discussing by putting intelligent question. So this is uh, this is psychological question. When you are asking, when you are questioning the person, questioning the person in taking the interview, make sure that you have to uh, show you have to show that you are very interested in in that person. You know how how you are how you will be interested in that person once you know about the biographical biographical facts about the person if you know the biographical fact about the person you can show that you are interested in that person so that the person will be very happy that yeah you know about my you know many things about myself and uh, so i think i don't have to yes sir i have done lots of research about you and uh, yeah i was uh, thinking to take a to in, invite for interview for more than two years you, you might have heard that kind of uh, saying from the interview in different uh, interview. So the second stage come, the interview begins, and third stage come, what are the uh, things you have to do, see? So uh, um, go through the, these uh, stages yourself. This is not very important. So I'm, I'm just showing you how you have to write the report. Actually, we are not going to conduct any interview, but we now, so you have to imagine the situation that you have conducted uh, the interview. You have conducted uh, an interview and uh, you, you're writing the report on that. So while you are writing the report on a speech, first, the format, I'm showing you the format of writing a report on a 
an interview so first you write about the person okay see this is the topic dancing to her own tune this is the heading if necessary you can give them the heading otherwise uh, it is not mandatory that you have to write the heading of your report so you can directly answer see a uh, first person introduction Uma, Uma Sharma has been trained in Kathog. this is the type of the different dances see first directly mention the person name if you are conducting you if you are uh, calling for interview to a uh, film celebrity Bollywood celebrity like you like Salman Khan, if you're calling this Salman Khan, he's a well-known person and he, he he's also called the Bhai, Bhai Jan. He's also called the Bhai or a Bollywood industry and he has been in the Bollywood industry more than 30 years. 30 years, 40 years, you know, whatever the time. You can write about the person. And he has, okay, um, he has acted Okay, he has acted more than 50 films or more than 50 movies um, till date. Uh, other talent. And especially he has uh, the, the movies like uh, his famous movies are the famous latest movies are Tigers. These are the series, series you can mention in there. Means I mean to say, while you're writing a report on an interview, you have to introduce that person's person's name, his or her achievement, and what is the social impact. What is the social impact is also important. So, okay, he has played many movies, like he has uh, successful, most successful movies are such. This is how you can. And uh, you can write up to four or five sentences about that person. No need to write about in different paragraph. So just write. Okay, give the introduction of the person and uh, his ta his or her talent, or his or her contribution. What was the contribution? And examples of uh, the uh, movies or story, whatever the person has brought out. You mention them and make your sentences up to five sentences while giving the introduction. So then come to the questions. Okay, uh, today I'm going to present, mention in there, I have conducted an interview. We had a meeting, I had a meeting, I had, a, I had an interview with him and that I'm going to discuss, I'm going to mention in here. After that, you have to ask the questions. First question will be kind of warm up questions. Like if you are calling Salman Khan for this interview and you can say that. Yeah. How do you, so uh, since you are, uh, since you are of uh, acting movie or since you are in a Bollywood for more than 30 years, how you can maintain your figure in the same shape and uh, like uh, five years ago and at uh, this time and this uh, years also you are uh, how you are uh, maintaining your body see you can ask that question for as a form of question after then he will tell about what he does to maintain the body or like figure to make to keep in healthy and high and that will, you have to write it yeah, I do this exercise every day and um, to make sure that there won't be, uh, uh, I'm very health conscious and these things, you, will, you have to write them. And second questions will be very important questions. You will base on your, uh, your agenda. So second question, you will be based on agenda. See, uh, if I talk from your assignment, write a report in 250 words, of an interview you had with a film star who graduated from your institu institution. Okay, who graduated? So it means your main agenda is you would like to inspire the uh, audience or the reader through your report writing that person who graduated from your college, from your uh, university, became the film star so that it can be the motivation to the people. Well, okay. Uh, how okay tell me about 
tell me about your journey, your struggle uh, to become a, a, a Bollywood star, a movie star. Okay. In second question, you will ask, uh, tell, tell us about, or uh, tell me about your struggle uh, to become a, a superstar and body superstar, a Hollywood superstar, whichever. Now, the, your answer will be uh, the, exactly the person what he said. How did he, okay, in the beginning of, our, in the beginning of my career, I had to struggle a lot. You can imagine one person, like, one of, you can take out one of the person uh, in Bollywood who has done lots of a struggle in uh, to begin his career, his or her career, and how uh, he or she has become successful today. You can imagine one person, and uh, on the base on that, you can uh, write write the answer of that question. Okay, and third question will be. What would be your suggestion for the people who would like to join the career or who would like to begin their career in film industry? Third questions. Three questions are interview. And once you have answered third questions, you will end in there. You will not write anything else further. Okay, likewise, uh, I'm sh sharing my screen. And you can see this is question and uh, and after once the question is finished the report writing is also ending there so in this report writing again you don't have to write any conclusion likewise in the reports on a meeting a reports on a speech reports on an event you didn't have to write any conclusion likewise in a report and interview also uh, the main important thing is you must have to introduce the persons, tell them some achievement, and uh, ask at least three questions, at least three questions. If you'd like to ask more questions, of course you can do that. At least three questions, and that will be end of your report on an interview. And I have seen many students, many students in assignment in a final exam, what they do is they just copy from the different sources. They just write question answer or they are writing the report and interview about the person like uh, we have I have conducted this meeting and uh, the person has said uh, this information it, it it looks like report and speech you are writing a report and interview so you have to assume yourself as a journalist and uh, you have to questions and answer since this is a question so you have to ask question yourself answer yourself and make sure that you are asking the questions which are easier for you to answer. You cannot uh, ask the question and uh, to make your um, report on an interview longer, like how are you, hope you are doing, well, how are um, here, something like that. These are not necessary in a report. No greeting, no salutations will, is required in your report don't mention that come to the direct point first question try to make a warm-up question warm-up question means are you may be asking about the person figure or maybe asking about the uh, the current how the person is uh, living in the current situation current situation is that uh, what is the uh, of the any program or project the person is busy and currently so these are this kind of warm-up question. And the second question will be the uh, specific question, why you are calling that person. And, uh, and a third question will be inspiration. What is the suggestion from that person to the newcomer or the, new, the people who like to begin their career in the same direction or something like that? Third question. Second will be subject. And third question will be, of course, motivation, motivative type of questions you would ask to the person. So in this, in this Example also, you will find the same thing. That will be end of your report writing. Now I'm going to tell in brief about reports and survey. Since reports and survey, that uh, type of report writing you have done in your schooling, okay, you have been practicing the same report writing in your schooling. 
and this is not an important examination point of view so i will show you in brief i'll just show you the example and uh, as we discussed earlier uh, reports on a survey will follow the different procedure different stages like uh, different procedure like uh, You'll mention in that like audience, like a superior, your colleague, uh, other organization in uh, engaged in these activities, uh, a customer. You will raise these uh, these people will be your uh, audience or the reader. You will collect the data. The 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 the, the this is the different method of collecting data. Method of different uh, collecting data like personal observation. You have visited the field or spot interviews questionnaires. And we you have the different reference books, newspaper, and different sources. Like official records, uh, if you have any official record uh, available as per the uh, uh, topic of your report, official record maybe government record or private record or libraries. Uh, if to find out the information or to prove your theory, theory in the sense on what basis you are going to uh, write that report. If necessary, you have to go to the library. Okay, this is the format. Okay, uh, please look at my screen, page number 50. It is also on your book. Block number three, page number 45, unit 17. You can go through the unit 17 to know about the format of report and survey. So first page, in first page, it will be the title page. You will write name of the organization. Okay, you will mention the name of organization and first page and uh, type of survey. A survey report on refined cooking oil. Okay, the topic, the main topic of this survey report and prepared by prepared by or presented by the person designation and the date and this is the format of report on survey now preface okay preface if you if the report is very long you have to mention the preface like about a month ago, I started serving the markets in Andhra Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, and Karnataka with the following objectives. See, it's a preface, it's a long report writing, and uh, uh, he, the person has done different marketing survey for three objectives. Three objectives. And how did he get the data through personal contact? So he has spent lots of time in different, so it, that mentioned in preface. After that comes the table of content. So this is necessary. Preface is de preface depends on the, uh, the length, length of your report writing, this type of report writing. If you are writing the report very, uh, or the vast or very big topic, you have to mention the preface, otherwise not. But table of con contents, Table of contents is necessary in your reports and survey. This is the part of report writing. So what information you provided? And another thing is summary. Summary of your report. What is the summary? In summary writing, see, in summary writing, you will again define, you will again define your, in summary, in summary writing, you will again and define what is cooking well. Again, you will mention about what is, you will define the topic. In summary, in India, all, this, all the section of the society consider refined well is a suitable medium of cooking. So the refined well has become the popular among the upper class consumers. The survey done by us, revealed by us, reveals that another brand of oil with quality similar to the surya oil will become popular among the middle as well as the lower classes. It will be the profitable for our organization to manufacture such as oil. See, 
there is already one of the uh, well company in the market and but which is costly and which is suitable for upper class but your company is conducting a survey see uh, another example phone smartphone see there is well known smartphone iphone is there then samsung then other companies like motorola other xiaomi oppo vivo see and after that there are other new companies nowadays there is uh, i have uh, read that techno or something like that name and uh, i have heard there is another company another mobile company is coming this is nothing one i i think like nothing something like name is like nothing see again there are already more than 20 smartphone companies are in the are in the market and they are providing an excellent service to the customer but still there is another new, another company called nothing it it is chinese company i i is uh, is uh, con coming in the market in a smartphone market so certainly that company has conducted lots of research and find out the some loopholes or somehow find out the some uh, important things that uh, the company can do the new so see one plus one one of the mobile brand one plus is considered as the very good phone in terms of its camera it, 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 the camera quality is, uh, is somehow better than iphone the people say so which is why that company came in the market and became the brand maybe new company uh, which is launching in future has found out the some loopholes so that they can fill that loopholes or they can provide the service to the customer and uh, they will do the profit so that would be the summary introduction again in introduction in introduction you will uh, define you will further define the topic you will not mention the uh, observation you have done in the introduction what is cooking well now what are the different methods of uh, using uh, what are the different uh, like he will the people are using people use in their kitchen in the kitchen and uh, how the people are slowly moving towards from using of uh, desi ghee to refined well from desi ghee to well like, like mustard well to refined well nowadays the refined well are different varieties of well are quite famous how the people are uh, slowly and gradually moving towards the um, or means how the people are being more and slowly and gradually become in the health conscious is mentioned in there so that you will further define or further uh, give the introduction of that and a discussion and in the discussion you will mention what you did okay what observation or you have conducted and what was your finding there and your conclusion and recommendation what are the recommendation and what is your conclusion in there so how your company can replace or how your company can be uh, suitable for the people the certain group of people see in this report say since the surya refined well already is a brand and which is preferred by the upper class but now your people are middle and lower class people your company the customer of your company are now uh, middle class and lower class people so you are going to manufacture a, a little slightly cheap and a quality service quality product so that would be the reports on survey that is the format okay that will be all for reports on survey Okay, before I let you ask you any questions or any doubts or any uh, any further clarification, let me conclude my class today. Uh, today we first discuss about the what is report, and after that we talked about different types of report writing. And first we talk about reports and event. Reports and event. And reports and events are mainly newspaper based event reports where uh, you have to mention the date, uh, place, and what uh, actually uh, 
incident or that event was occurred in there. And at the purpose of uh, reports on event, the purpose of event writing is to provide the information. And uh, uh, since the, all the report writing, all the report writing are, are based on the past events. So your sentences will be in the past tense. Sentences will be in the past tense. So the reports and event are informative just go by the information and you're not absorbing or you're not uh, comparing and uh, comparing with the uh, with the previous report or anything else you, your your objective is just to provide the information to the the people certain class certain class of people whoever are concerned to that and another report writing we talked about reports and uh, reporting and meeting and a speech and in reporting meeting there are number of participants so you may have to write the uh, agendas mentioned in that meeting and you have you have to write the important points or important agenda discussed by the different participant different uh, presentee in that meeting maybe you are one of the presentee and uh, you may have uh, highlighted a certain points certain agendas that were discussed on that meeting means let's say Again, if you are conducting an uh, annual cultural program and you are the secretary and uh, one of the participants of that meeting said uh, they would rather assign the uh, fourth semester student for uh, volunteers activity and instead of doing that, okay, you may have, okay, previously it was suggested that to assign the fourth year student for volunteer service, but um, we have decided we have cancelled that and decided to uh, assign the uh, strength from the different semester, various semester up to 25 persons for the volunteers. See, you have the person has suggested another person, or you have you you have suggested that doing so. This is one of the example. So, report submitting you will mention the what where the things discussed in there and the, the thing important things said by the uh, different persons. And whereas report in a speech, you will merely you will merely write the report, uh, what the person has, what the speaker has said, what were the important points or uh, agendas were discussed, and what was the uh, promises or announcement by announce, announcement by the person, and that we also discuss through the examples as well. And after then. After that, we talked about the another type of report writing, reports and interview. interview. This is very important, uh, very important because I found many year, many strengths in each and every semester. Every semester, many strengths they do the mistake while writing the re report and interview. They just write the report and interview as if it's a speech. Okay, make sure that you are not writing the speech in question of report and interview in a reporting the interview you have to introduce the, about the person whom you are going to uh, introduce in your interview write about the person person name uh, his or her contribution and social impact social impact means oh, oh, what is the uh, impact or what is the positive or negative impact in the society of course positive or influence in the society once you introduce about the person in four or five sentences then start your questions make sure that you write the uh, uh, simple question so that you can answer yourself and write at least three questions and three answers and of course if you like to write more and more questions you can write more than uh, four more than three questions up to five questions and your uh, you can write up to two, 250 words so don't make it lengthy so that you cannot uh, attain all the questions in your exam so three questions are enough for this and at the last we uh, talked about reports on a survey and which is based on the uh, the informations or the data source and uh, everything that you have observed or got the uh, information from the various sources and i i show you that example and a reports on a survey has a certain format like uh, first is summary the yeah, first phase is about the topic and the presented by your name okay and a second after the after that you will mention the table of contents after that you will interrupt you will write the introduction and the introduction uh, 
in the introduction part you will define the topic define the the topic that you are mainly just going to discuss on means the theory you are based on and after that the body of your uh, report the body of your survey that comes the finding observations again finding an observation and then you will mention the conclusion and recommendations and up to three sentences so that will be the end of my class for today and if you have any questions regarding the reports and interview or anything you can ask now any questions or any doubt regarding to reporting uh, an interview any questions any doubt or any suggestion you would like to Okay, how can we improve interview questions? Interview questions, uh, you have to imagine, you know, you, you watch movies, you watch cricket, you play cricket, you listen to uh, the questions, you watch television. On television, you, uh, you uh, might be uh, listening to any interview. Or see, uh, we got lots of uh, knowledge from the different sources. Okay, Inter improve, in, interview question means uh, whatever the question will be your exam, whatever the question be in your exam, you certainly you have the knowledge about the different uh, thing means you was the I, as I said you was uh, interviewed from the different persons like you was any uh, like maybe the comedian show you was the comedian show like Kapil Sharma or you was the um, you listen the news. You again. You was that uh, interview by a prime minister and other ministry or from other um, political parties, sport person. So these are the reference you can consider as the uh, reference. And uh, on the based on your questions, exam question, you can imagine the same situation and you have you can uh, assume that you are a journalist and you are asking the question similar question that the, the journalist has asked. Uh, in favor or neutral you cannot write in negative yes you can write in favor or if the person is really influencing yeah of course you will write in favor and you are very uh, you are also fan since the question is film star maybe bollywood or Kollywood, Jollywood, whatever good if you are uh, the fan of that person of course you can write in favor so and that is the way you can improve the questions, interview questions. And don't ask the uh, lengthy questions. Oh, if that is a criminal, and uh, yeah, of course, that is a critical topic. If that is a uh, criminal, and of course, you are uh, taking an interview with a person who has done that activity, and uh, what he, how that person was uh, doing that. So you will ask the questions such as, the how that person has changed his life and it become uh, can become a motivate uh, can inspire the people so he may be a drug addict the person is a drug addict and he used to do that now he has changed his life see he uh, he had a bad time also okay you will ask how we how you were able to uh, change your life you can ask them i know Tell me about how you could change your life. Yeah, yeah, it was a bad time for me. You will answer like that. 
it was a very bad time for me and it was also the environment of that time i was involved in those activities and i didn't want to recall again because i have changed a lot of things right and what are the things what are the things he had done to change his life yeah so maybe in jail he stayed in the jail central jail and he stayed in there and i had performed the daily activities and he was motivated especially he did yoga like okay, a yoga or read the books these things changed because i got the good environment very good in, in environment and life training environment in jail and which is why uh, i i am doing these activities for the people of society means the person who was drug addict in past maybe the the person is working for for to for the people who are impacted by that addict so that can be the uh, motivation so can we future things yeah it will be in the uh, past very rarely sentence will be in the future tense like uh if you're asking the questions uh and I, the person is answering yeah I, it was a bad time for me and i was uh, i was in that environment and the, uh, my environment was not good at that but uh, i have i have decided and i will be working for the people i will be working for the people who are also impacted by the same things i was 10 years ago see now in this in my sentence it becomes future tense my uh, my motive uh, to tell you that uh, right in the past tense is means most of your sentences will be in the past but in the report and interview yeah because you are writing this same answer from the person so it will be in this future tense also as per the necessary maybe in the present tense but bottom line is well, most of your sentences in uh, reports like reports on event report on a speech report on meeting will be in the past tense yeah you have to imagine you have to imagine uh, to write your answer uh, both in an event you should focus on the main person guest or minister or entire event yeah you have to focus on the both means what the important points that person has said you can mention in that uh, you can quote also you can quote what he said or you can say that the person has suggested or the, the, the minister has highlighted or minister has said that or the minister said then you can write the what was the uh, important message he has said in inverted comma like you can see uh, a newspaper after then you have to write about the entire event what happened in there You're welcome. Sir, I wanted to ask something. Mm -hmm. Uh, I want to just ask that uh, is the videos that has been recording is been uploaded on the channel? I think uh, to be honest, I think uh, they have not uploaded yet. Okay, okay, sir. So there will be a uh, another playlist for the videos that is being up, uh, that will be uploaded for the BCA. Uh, most probably, uh, you will get a link in your lms portal and uh, through that you can listen to this audio this this class audio okay thank you sir welcome uh if you have any questions any other hello 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 Hello. Sir, yes. uh, last date of assignment. Sir, kindly tell the last date of assignment. 
ইগনু Yes, you are right. It's showing 30th May and I, was, uh, I have heard that they are going to extend uh, 15th May. But make sure that you can ask to Ritika ma'am in tomorrow class and she will confirm that. 